Hello everybody, this is K-Search again. I hope we have learned all the how and the why of having cancer from the previous videos. This way will be super exciting as we will be proceeding with another phase in which is the clinical application in cancer management. So without further ado, let's move on to the diagnosis to cancer. Let's go. Have you ever wondered how to diagnose a cancer? How does the doctors confirm the cancer? What are the elements that are needed for us to confirm the cancer case? Before we start, you must understand this. The diagnosis of cancer has been streamlined by an international body. It's called a J C C is American Joint Committee on Cancer. Mm, there is every four to five years, mm, there will be a joint national committee, which will produce a newer edition for the staging manual of cancer, and the latest edition is coming still at the head edition as far as we know and it's going to be um, updated soon as what we have mentioned last week we need this triple assessment number one is clinical number two is imaging number three is histology You need two out of three criteria for you to be sure to confirm the diagnosis of a cancer. What does it mean? It means that it's either clinical and histology or clinical imaging or usually when we confirm the diagnosis of cancer, you must have all three. But there are some caveat we are going to talk about in the later of these videos. Let's talk about clinical. The component of clinical, number one is the history. Of course, after the history, you can have physical examination that point towards a cancer diagnosis. However, there is always a chance. Endoscopy is actually under clinical, it's not imaging. Eh? Endoscopy is that as OGDS, the upper scopes, colonoscopes, the lower scopes. It can also be a bronchoscopy. So, if you look at this, endoscopy is actually the adjunct of a clinical diagnosis. And one more is the blood investigation. The most common blood investigation that we could use is the tumor markers. One problem is tumor markers are not sensitive at all, most of them, and they are not specific. But there are a few that could be used, which are the alpha fetoprotein, beta HCG and the PSA, the prostate-specific antigen. So, these are the tumor markers that are quite accurate, but we still, this is only one uh, criteria. We we'll need another one criteria. Usually, it's the histology or the imaging. Imaging is from the word image. It's not imaging, but I'm unintended. So, you can divide the imaging studies with non-radiation and radiation study. Non-radiation studies, it is the ultrasonography. Like ultrasound could. Mm, it's also operator dependent, that is the problem. And 
there's one more is a magnetic resonance imaging MRI. MRI is non mediating but the thing is, MRI is too sensitive. It gives you a lot of a diagnosis. Okay, let's go to radiation. Radiation you can use X rays, the most commonly used X rays. Second, because of X ray, you're using the X rays, you can have a mammogram. Mammogram is another, it's quite sensitive. Uh, this is specifically for breast cancer. And the next one, the most common being used is contrast enhanced CT scan. And the last but not the least is a PET scan. Positron emission uh, tomography. The PET scan is another one using isotope. And these are the scans that are uh, very useful to diagnose a cancer. Next, the most important of all is histology. Histology, or we call it histopathological examination. This is when you will hear most of the doctor will say HPE. Because HPE is from the word histopathological examination. So what happened was the surgeons or the doctors will take a sample of a tissue or suspect and send it to the pathologist. The pathologist will process it and check it under a microscope with a staining or no and to be able to give you the diagnosis of a cancer. Action of getting the tissue sample, that is the word we call biopsy so for biopsy these are invasive procedure in which you need to take the tissue sample from the patient you are actually causing trauma to the patient what biopsy can we do you can have a fine needle aspiration cytology you can have a core biopsy for those students in Malaysia we always like to use this word through cut I do not encourage you to use this word because this is a trade name. It's a trade name from the bead needle itself. And mind you, there are other biopsies we have to be done uh, surgically, which is a excision and incision. It will be interesting to discuss the difference among the three methods for FNSC, fine needle aspiration cytology. What happened was, let's say this is the mass and it's underneath the skin. We'll give a local anesthesia and we put a needle and the needle is a fine needle. As small as 21G or in Malaysia you will say it, a blue needle right so what happened was you use the needle target blindly or either city guided or ultrasound guided so let's say this is a mass over the neck and it's quite superficial it's a subcutaneous tissue and what you can do, you can use the needle and you connect it to a syringe and you pull the plunger so that it creates a vacuum and you just go a few crosses so that you can get the cytology cytology is the study of cell as what you can see, we just aspirate the cell from the mass all right and you can only see the cell and this is what the pathologist is going to look into the features 
So remember the four features yeah, of a cancer. What about core biopsy? A. So this is the mass. It's quite big. The core biopsy, the needle, is huge. Right, 12 to 14. It's a big needle. And it's a special type of needle in which there are two needles in that, inside there. And then there is a place for the needle to catch hold of the tissue here. There is a spring loaded machine which will attach to both the needles. There's the outer needle and the, need, the inner needle. What's the benefit of a cobalt C as opposed to this fine needle aspiration? There you see. FNSC, you can only look at the cell. But core biopsy, you are looking at the tissue. The advantage of looking at the tissue, you can you can examine the architecture of the structure. This one can give a better confirmation of diagnosis. Sometimes, um, even FNSC and uh, Cobalt C couldn't be done. Then, what can you do as a surgeon? Yeah, we can just do a excision or incisional biopsy. This, there's a no limit over the size of the mass. So, excision biopsy, let's say this is the mass, and I take out the whole mass and I send this to the pathologist to further evaluate if it is a cancer or not a cancer. Sometimes the mass is so huge that it had already eroded the structures, the important structures, maybe the blood vessels, maybe the nerve. So for this kind of situation arises, they don't want to disrupt the plan, the eroded uh, tissue. We can always come back later. We want to keep it serene, pristine. So what we do is we do an incision about C. This we can just take out part of the tissue. I wonder if you guys heard before which incision. Okay, this is also one of the biopsy. Right? It's not necessarily must be a incision. This week is rather light because I want to make sure that you will be understand what is the triple assessment. So triple assessment means clinical, imaging, and histology. Two out of three, you can confirm it's a cancer. I would like you guys to go back to the previous videos to really really understand. Number one why cancer happen, how it happened, then you can go to the diagnosis of cancer. For the clinical part, uh, there will be there are plans to do more videos according to the type of cancer. Let's say breast cancer, gastric cancer, esophageal cancer, colon cancer. We will do it one by one according to videos. But generally if you look at this cancer, hmm, uh, we need to understand that cancer as tumor is nothing but just the cell have gone haywire and just reproduce, reproduce and reproduce and that's called of course a lot of problems. Uh, you can always look back at the video about the sequelae of tumor. Then you understand why we are doing the things that we do. So as usual, please like and hit the notification button so next week we are going to talk about grading and staging of cancer
this. So stay tuned. This is K Search. Bye.